Introduction to Your Straw Man, reading from Moses Washington, Justinian Deception, Redemption Manual, Banker's Manifesto, and with additional information throughout. As a child, you have had an imaginary friend. You may be surprised to learn that evidence exists that you have had a make-believe twin from the time your mother and father permitted a birth certificate to be filed for you. This make-believe friend is not real, but artificial. It is a straw man, an artificial entity that has a name very similar to yours. Here is a definition of straw man. A front, a third party who is put up in name only to take part in a transaction. Nominal party to a transaction. Black's Law Dictionary, 6th edition. The term is also used in commercial and property contexts when a transfer is made to a party. The straw man simply for the purpose of retransferring to the transferer in order to accomplish some purpose not otherwise permitted. Barron's third edition. So in layman's terms, the straw man is an artificial person. The straw man was created by law shortly after you were born via the registration of the application of your birth certificate. The name for the straw man is your name in all capital letters. You will notice that the inscription on the birth certificate is your name in all capital letters. If yours is not in all capital letters, the registration will be. You will still have a straw man. The English language has precise rules of grammar that make no provision for writing proper nouns in all capital letters. So your name spelled with all capital letters is a fictitious name. From Justinian Deception, hidden foreign text known as Dog Latin, mother of all deceptions, the concept of modern-day slavery. The secret foreign sign language hidden in plain sight. Dog Latin, the poison in the text. It is a poisonous gloss that corrupts the essence of the text. This story is about simple English text and a hidden text that has been usurped into the English text without you ever being aware of such a deception. This story explains how a foreign alien text appears in contracts, court orders, on your driver's license, passports, etc without you ever being aware that such a foreign text existed. This trick played upon the unsuspecting public is administered by the true dogs of the underworld in order to render you as a trustee of a foreign corporate banking entity that is alien and foreign to your true sovereignty. The lawyers, judges, and the courts and their military police are the administrators of this hidden secret deception played upon the masses in order to maintain control of such slaves. According to Black's Law Dictionary, 4th edition, Dog Latin is the language of the illiterate. It is the Latin all uppercase text usurped into the English descriptive text. Dog Latin is found on the ledger, tombstones, and by you being attached to it, renders the presumption of confirmation sign that you have sinned and you are dead. You are no longer the servant of the God of living man. You have become the servant of the underworld, the gods of the dead corporation, the servant of the Vatican, the debtor of the debtor, subject to the Justinian corpus juris, language of the dead. The Vatican holds the souls of the dead, and the dog Latin is the language of the dead. There is no all uppercase text constituted in the English grammatical rules. It does not exist, and there is also no unhyphenated strings of signs in the Latin or American sign language. Article 11, 147, Chicago Manual of Styles also states that there is no correspondence between the words and signs of any two languages, meaning the dog Latin has no jurisdiction with the written English on any instrument, contract, unless agreed. If this written text is English, in upper and lower case letters, and this is proper symbolic sign language, Latin, all upper case letters with hyphens, then what is this text without the hyphens in all capital letters? Your straw man has a same sounding name as your name, but is an artificial entity which exists only by force of or in contemplation of law. Same sounding names are also called item sonans, sounding the same or alike, having the same sound, a term applied to names which are substantially the same, though slightly varied in the spelling, such as Mark, and Mark, and Robin and Robin, and Nathaniel and Nathaniel. The all caps name is not your true name, which consists of the given Christian name plus the surname, family name, and appears with only initial letters capitalized. 
the all caps version of your name is a trade name, the name under which you do business. We may also say that the straw man is a person according to the legal dictionary. Person, one, a human being. Two, an entity such as a corporation that is recognized by law as having the rights and duties of a human being. The straw man may also be said to be an artificial person, which is also defined in the legal dictionary. An entity, such as a corporation, created by law and given certain legal rights and duties of a human being, a being, real or imaginary, who for the purpose of legal reasoning is treated more or less as a human being. Also termed fictitious person, juristic person, legal person, moral person, Black's Law Dictionary, 7th edition. A straw man may also be thought of as a legal fiction. Legal fiction, assumption of fact made by court as basis for deciding a legal question. A situation contrived by the law to permit a court to dispose of a matter. Black's Law Dictionary, 5th edition. A legal fiction like the United States as defined in 28 U.S. Code 3002. Definitions. United States means a federal corporation. As we explore further, we must distinguish between the straw man, an it or person, and the real flesh and blood being, human being, which we will call a man. Man has a legal definition, a human being, a person of the male sex, a male of the human species above the age of puberty. In the most extended sense, the term includes not only the adult male sex of the human species, but women and children. In feudal law, a vassal, a tenant, or feudatory. Black's Law Dictionary, 5th edition. So we conclude that man is a term of nature. But who created nature? Some would say God, others would say the creator, a term often used by the founder of our country, while others might hold a different view. On the other hand, we see person as a term of the civil law. Who is the creator of civil law? Civil law a rule of civil conduct prescribed by the supreme power of a state, the civil or municipal law of the Roman Empire. Valentine's Law Dictionary, 3rd edition. So kings, emperors, or legislative bodies acting a sovereign capacity are the creators of civil law. When our government acts as a sovereign, it is acting outside its constitutional authority. So we see that a man and a person are very different terms identifying very different things. If you study Roman civil law, you will see that it originates and uses fictions of law, that is, concepts that are contrary to the natural order of things and based upon presumptions that are untrue. You will realize that this person recognized in a civil law is a fictional entity. You will come to see the vast difference between man and person. So the man, straw man is a person a public name that is recognized in a civil society. We've mentioned legal fiction and fiction of law, so let's see how these are defined. Fiction of law, an assumption or supposition of law that something which is or may be false is true, or that a state of facts exists which has never really taken place. An assumption for purposes of justice of a fact that does not or may not exist. A rule of law which assumes as true and will not allow to be disproved something which is false, but not possible, but not impossible. Black's Law Dictionary, 5th edition. Here is a picture of something that is false, but is considered true by children in this case. And here is a slogan that is considered true by millions, but that is not at all true. Land of the free because of the brave. This distinction between a man and a person is a difficult concept to grasp, but a proper understanding of the relationship between the government, the man, and the straw man is essential to gaining increased freedom. While the concept of these relationships is very simple, there are some foundational principles that must be explored. We have mentioned that the straw man is an artificial entity or person, but there are several types of organizations or artificial entities there are corporation souls, aggregate corporations, municipal corporations, revocable living trusts, soul, and unincorporated business organizations. Many people use these entities for various reasons, including